So in chapter 8, the key thing is that we're drawing a angle of 30 degrees, but we're not doing it with a protractor. It says specifically to use compasses and ruler. In fact, we don't even need a ruler for this one, apart from drawing the straight line. What we have to do here is to first construct an angle of 60 degrees, which we're then going to bisect. To do the angle of 60 degrees, we need to draw an equilateral triangle or at least the first part. Now you'll see here that I don't move my distance between the pen and the compass point as I move from here to here. When I do that I've got the points of a equilateral triangle which will then connect to there to make an angle of 60 degrees. Because this isn't my final angle I'm not going to mark this in too hard. Uh, I'm going to then draw an angle bisector. So for this one, again, I want to keep my compass point and my pen the same distance apart as I do all of these lines. I'm now going to put the compass on that point there and draw this arc in the middle and compass point on that point there and draw that in the middle. Now when I join these two lines well, that, those two, these two points, when I join these two points, there will be an angle of 30 degrees in here. Just to check with my protractor. That is an angle of 30 degrees. For this one, to construct a perpendicular bisector, I'm drawing actually the locus of points that are equal distance from C and D. It effectively is a perpendicular bisector, but not specifically named that. I should have taken that C arc a bit further, and obviously I'm going into my diagram for 9, question 8, still, it's exactly the same thing here. I'm drawing this line and I need to go slightly beyond my arcs to show that this line would go on infinitely that way and infinitely this way. Here's my line 4.5 centimeters long. It's always three centimeters from that line. So I'm going to draw, first of all, some 3 centimeter arcs at the end of the lines, because I know it's going to be an oval running track type shape when it's a locus of points from a straight line. So I'm going to draw that there, and similar from this end. and join the bits that are also 3.5 centimeters from each. I have now drawn that locus of points that are all 3.5, 3 centimeters from this original distance. I'm going to mark in my 3 centimeter distance there. 